and welcome back. This is Coattail for another War of Rights event. Uh, we got a nice Saturday event for us. We have a House Divided campaign. And it is on farmland. Current server pop is 270, 130 on the CSA, 140 on the Union. It's a little imbalanced, but hopefully uh, it'll catch up as we go. More people loading into the server, as usually happens. Starting and taking a look at the Union team first. We are live at 43, by the way, so we got a little bit of time. Uh, I'm sorry, live at 42, I got a little bit of time. So it looks like Lieutenant Mattis is on, got some of his gun crews along with the IVB with uh, Cal. And then we also got um, the 5th U.S. recruit Days. Uh, looks like he's in command of the 5th U.S. Um, so good to see him on there. Uh, see 5th U.S. getting some guns in. No, they've been waiting for a slack for a little while, so good to see it. As they start moving out to their starting positions, we'll see the two teams starting out with the IVB for the Union, commanded by Mr. Sevy. We've got, let's see here, 79th, commanded by Ricks, Captain Hood heading out the 42nd PA, joined by Lieutenant Kilroy. Uh, We've no, got no EB Bay under the command the of Major Hazard. Let's see, and then we've got MWB under Major Velkine. 83rd under Captain Wolf. Up and over, up and over, up and over. And I believe that is everybody. I believe that's everybody. If I missed anybody, I do apologize, but it looks like I caught it, caught everybody. So what they'll do is at the 42, all the flags will go up at the same time once they're out at that point. So I'll swing out to the CSA Artie first and then check out their infantry. That should be right on time. So for the CSA Artie here, we've got the SR, looks like under chief here, with one gun system. And I'll kind of go from front to back here. For the CSA Infantry, we have Corporal Pilot leading the uh, NYV. You've got West Virginia under Colonel Lightburn. Fourth West Virginia, that is. Then we've got HL Colonel, under Major Dixon. Colonel Knight leading the 8th Georgia. Go, boys. We got this. Five, Captain Joker leading four, the 19th Indiana. Ninth Corps yes. under Colonel Tommy. And 20th New York under CJH. I believe that's everybody. Um, we do, I believe there's another new unit in the second North Carolina, but I didn't see them. They might be mixed in with somebody else. I see a couple people oh, without no. tags. Right Maybe they're right right. So as we can see, we'll kind of get an overview of the battlefield as we go. Um, the battle won't get go live until both... They're not supposed to shoot yet. Um, until both teams are at their point and can raise their flag. So it's a little tough with the size of this map here, but um, they'll be uh, heading out there momentarily to raise their flags at the same time. Only the C point and the A point are in contention. You cannot uh, do the B point. So there we go. The A point is up. In fact, the Union is not all right. heading down this way, so this is a little strange to me as well. Sebi is heading out with his guys out to the Yardy. Um, a little weird, but I, I don't know. Um... I don't think it's too big a deal, but yeah, they'll 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 let me know later. Um, if you are just seeing this game for the first time, it is called War of Rights. It is a U.S. Civil War first-person shooter. Everybody you see in here is an actual player playing live, and as you can see, we have a 275-man server already filled up. And yep, you can see it's gotten a little bit more even now. It's only a six-man imbalance, so very very close now. I might take a lead already as it's still getting into position here. Now, this event particularly is called the House Divided Campaign. Uh, it plays every uh, week at 8 p.m. Eastern. Way too high. Way too high. Lower that by a... I believe it's full right now, but uh, if you want to talk to the organizers, Captain Hood, um, about possibly getting into it, I, I highly recommend it. Um, but I believe right now the event might be closed to new entries, but uh, you can always hit up Captain Hood to find out. Um... Now, there is a game board component to this event, um, and you can see another my other videos on the HDC, the campaign board through tabletop. This is currently between on the uh, Mississippi River, um, just above Memphis, and this is a battle uh, between the piece, uh, the 20th New York, who is on the CSA, is attacking the USAB piece. And um, depending on how the next battle goes as well, because the battles are interconnected, if the CSA um, can win this battle and uh, win the next battle, they can wipe out that token. So we will see what happens here. But there is a, uh, you know, there's there's a campaign piece to this as well 
as to uh, the ta as in joining in with the tactical element of it. No, he didn't say peak the valleys. He said line. Oh, on the line. Bad. Who just said that? My bad. Now, if you're looking for units uh, to join your player, new player just picked it up during the spring sale, or a veteran player, and you want to join in, uh, check out these units. Their discords is in the description. Uh, find one where the times work for you, and who seem like pretty good dudes. Like right here, this is uh, CJH leading 20th New York, is uh, whose token it is right now. Although he is getting very close to Colonel Mustang from the IVB. And if you like what you see here, you know, and uh, you want to support the channel, you like, subscribe, comments, shares, all are very helpful uh, to try to uh, grow the channel and uh, give you guys more content when I can. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know um, what I can improve on, what more you would like me to see me do. Um, I've tried, you know, a couple guest commentators on occasion. Uh, let me know if that's something you guys like uh, more or less. Um, right now, I'm just doing it by myself. Hopefully, um... I'll be able to do one with Dragon here pretty soon. That's it is my hope. We keep missing our schedules, which is uh, unfortunate. He's another streamer that commentates on uh, the HDC. But here we go. We got Colonel Knight is moving out here with the indomitable Ace Georgia. In the line, in the line, in the line. Oh, oh boys, in the line, quick. In oh, nice volley coming in. Who was that? They're good distance out. That was the 42nd PA versus the Ace Georgia. Southeast. But we've got some more CSA moving up here. We've got multiple CSA elements moving up here. Who is this? Fire! Captain Joker from the 19th Indiana blowing some holes into the 42nd. You know, you to let the man see a muscle, mommy. And all of a sudden, you know, he, his aim improves by 70%. Nice return volley by the 42nd. Let's see what's going on with the rest of the field. Conquest is very hard for me to cover. Uh, because there's always so much going on all over the place, but I will do my best. Like, we got 20th New York out here skirmishing against, I believe this is the IVB line. Yep, Mr. Sevy here, lead, Major Sevy leading the IVB over here. In a nice skirmish formation in the woods. So it is possible to draw on Conquest, and if the, uh, the unit draws, they will not be wiped. So um, the Union just has to win or draw. And if they lose, then the next round will determine the fate of the token. By the way, these are not official pronouncements upon the campaign. These are my musings as we go. Nice shots from the... Who was it? The 42nd or the E... Or this unit down here. Who is this? The EB. Either one... I'm not sure who it was, but those were some nice shots coming in. Now, I do wonder if the Union wants to occupy this uh, the guns up here as a more forward position uh, to get some better shots in. And maybe just one cannon crew. Sorry, Chris, what? Um, the two, uh, right they might be afraid to try to defend those guns that much. All right, looks like we got a wide flank developing over here. I bet this is the 83rd. Yep, Cat Wolf in the 83rd. And he is joined by the MWB, Major Velkine. We'll see if they're going to try to get behind the CSA line and outflank them. And on the fence here, we've got, yep, back in with 8th Georgia. At the Whitworth shoots high and a little lower than you expected. I, I just seen smoke from over the hill. Keep the fire alive. Uh, volley coming in from the 42nd. Uh, not not the most effective I've seen from them, to be honest with you. A little bit high on those shots. And here is 2nd North Carolina. I think this is the first time I've seen them under Mr. Ranch here. But they are going to try to do a little bit of skirmishing and get some shots in as well. Let me rotate out to the other side of the field here. Looks like we've got a new L enemy for uh, IVB. Although 9th Corps here... Joining with 20th is doing a good over. I kind of like this position they're in. You know, decent cover underneath here. A tree is giving a little bit of concealment. Not a bad position. And then HL here. Here comes Dixon. Looks like he might be getting into a fight here with IVB soon. You can see 83rd still making its way slowly across the field. 
Two for Cubby, laddies. Two for Cubby. Two for Cubbies, boys. Two for Cubby, laddies. Two for Cubby. I really love this map. This is actually one of my favorite maps. I know I said that about Limestone Bridge last uh, week, but uh, I love the Antinum uh, hey, Conquest Convention right maps. Uh, at least some of them. Uh, these, these two in particular. Really, uh, well, Limestone and uh, this map in particular, I really enjoy. Um, HL is actually oriented out this way. I don't know if they realize that they have this massive force of the IVB down here. We'll have to see if they engage them. I'm going to rotate back out to the other side of the field here, as it looks like 83rd has gotten into that position. And I thought they might. Uh, Vance. I like this position. You can see a little bit of concealment underneath the shade. It's not much. It kind of keeps them silhouetted. But then they come out here. Open fire, boys. And they have caught this unit out here, the 4th West Virginia, under Lightburn. In a pretty good hit. But down comes Captain Wolf. Does he have a flag with him? He does, so he's going to be able to respawn his men very quickly. But you see 19th Indiana and 8th Georgia have formed a very impressive line here. But now he's facing multiple threats. you got Vilkine out there. Oh, came out over here. Looks like PB Legion has come out here to threaten him a bit. I missed. Not that time. And this is a very dangerous position here for Legion against the 42nd, and he is going to pull his men out. We'll see if he can get out in time. Decent shots coming in, but now if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that that CSA element is in a bit of a box. We'll see if they stay there. Meanwhile, you've got, looks like, 9th Corps is rotating out to 8HL as they get into a fight here against the IVB. We'll see if I can see some of these shots. Looks like HL saw them and are pulling back. Maybe they're waiting for Ninth Corps to come up to support and maybe do a uh, two-pronged attack. You know, I still say I think this is a little bit too much Union Artie. If the Union is going to occupy right, that position, here. take some guns up there. I know, I got stuck by bodies. Now, we do I have Hazard here with the EB who are kind of acting as the anchor. Keep and, in fact, I agree with this. They're going to move up, and they might be able to support oh, yeah, the I IVB as they deal with the yeah, HL and Ninth Corps. Now, the one thing I worry about, don't don't go right in front of the guns. They ever go right in front of the guns. But Hazard's getting out of the way quick enough. Uh, let's rotate back out. Yeah, if, 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 I, yeah, if the uh, 42nd wants to occupy this position here, I, I say take these guns, turn them on the enemy. I don't think so. Oh, well, you've got the tip of the spear out here, the NYV. Let's see what they're thinking. He begin reinforcements. Who is leading the? Uh, I thought pilot was leading, leading, but I don't see him right now. Good skirmish formation out here by Velkind. Union, I'd say, slightly behind the CSA on tickets so far. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't help it. That bastard right in the middle had to go down. And Knight is going to pull back a little bit. Interesting. We're going to rotate back out to the other side, see if we see anything further action going on over here. Now, this is actually a pretty powerful CSA force. If they can knock out one force and then the other in detail, they might have a good chance of overwhelming the Union Arty. Although, it looks like 20th has wandered very close to the uh, CSA, the Sebi's line here. Um, this is pretty dangerous here to get some out-of-line tickets. There's one. We got five so far. Can they get ten? No, Notorious is dancing. And Notorious J-Lo... Living up to his name is getting out of there. Yeah, man, just take this cannon. Turn it. And shoot it. Looks like we got 83rd in engagement down here. Give it to him, boys. Who are they facing? They are facing the 8th Georgia. Kill that flag, Bear. Roger! Keep engaging! Fuck 
Take a shot, pull out. Take a shot. Take a shot. 83rd is pulling out as 19th Indiana moves up. That flag. See that flag moving right in the grass. Some nice shots from the 19th Indiana dropping the uh, the flag over there. All right, do we got an engagement on this side? We do. It did happen. IVB fighting against the ninth core. Tommy trying to knock out Sevy. But here comes Dixon. And that should finish off the IVB here. This was what I was waiting to see. Now you've got the Artie back here. And they are now very vulnerable to be swept. You do have one defensive line out here in the EB, but they will not be able to support the Artie. But they're not in Not to repeat myself, but you have a lot more security up there now than you do over here. And in fact, here comes the sweep. Here comes Dixon. You're not going to make it in time for the backup. This is going to be some nice juicy kills that you're about to give to the CSA. And they are going to get a nice ticket farm off of this. See what you're looking at. Oh, run, run. They should have known to pull out of here. They're still on their cannons. I don't know what. I, this is not good play by the Union Arty. This is not good play at all. You knew that. You knew it wasn't secure. Why are you staying there? Kill the man. There was no one that was coming to help you. And the CSA have now taken these guns, and they have silenced the Union Arty. Let's check and see what's going on on the other side of the field here. So again, you got the 42nd putting up a pretty decent fight here on this side here. And again, you can use this arty to target the CSA. Now the next four set will uh, potentially stop the CSA from getting to C point. Is the EB Hazard and the Eagle Brigade. We will see if the 53rd and the other members of the Eagle Brigade can stop the combined forces of 9th Corps. Now this is also I disagree with. You just spawned in. You might get your guns back. Well, you might get your guns back. I don't mind the officers doing it. I disagree with the hey. NCOs doing it. Ah, you see, these guys stole the gun. They knew what they were doing. Did they get a shot off and kill EB? No, I think they missed, but still, that's what you do. Steal the gun. And how many kills are we, uh, Union, are you wasting out here with this already right now? With these guys, what are they doing? Wasting tickets is what they're doing. Let's go watch the rest of the battlefield, but that's going to matter for the top there as the Union is getting well behind on tickets. And a lot of it has to do with what's going on over there right now. Up and over, reload. The 83rd has pulled back. Way out by Reconsolidating the over right. here along with the MWB. To be honest with you, this wood side is actually working out really well right now for the CSA. They are just farming these tickets over here. Here comes the IVB. Sevy, though, wants revenge. We'll see if he can get it. Against CJH, along with 9th Corps. Oh, but they're pulling out. They're going to get some parting shots in the ass here. Let's go. But they did the damage they needed to do when they've got a nice ticket lead against the Union. 25 minutes remaining. Uh, damn. You seem cool. yeah, we're fun to Dead yeah, even right now, 142 to, to 143. So good thing. balance. Right here, Broken. So Union already has reoccupied, but they are still very vulnerable. I do not agree with this at all. I'm kind of repeating myself, but ah, <laughs> let's say very distance, long distance shooting right now going on here. Which at the moment I think benefits the CSA. Um, they're ahead enough if they can keep up this pace. And to be honest with you. I think the CSA has a better infiltration route in here.
and get deeper in. And I think this flank is a little bit. You have IVB, which is pretty strong, and you got EB behind them to give them support. But you know, if you can if you can sweep up here, and you know, use the cover, and then sneak into the corn, it is very hard to stop them once they're in there. And so far, the Union is not really pushing on this side that much. Now, as far as the Union goes, you know, the uh, the CSA has really opened up the field here. You know, I might want to send a unit like 83rd or MWB just screaming down this road and making a beeline for A. Yeah, you got to knock out uh, Lightburn and his guys, which is not easy, but um, I, think the, uh, I think the center is open for the Union right now, but they got to take it. These guys over on the corner... I don't think are really doing much right now. The 42nd, I'd say, can in this open field could hold this against even two, three units, in my opinion. But we'll see. I could be wrong. The big problem for the Union, again, right now, is how much they're putting on Artie versus how many men are infantry. So you got about a unit behind them. Um, I'm trying to see how effective the Artie has been. It hasn't seemed to be that. I'm not noticing too many splashes, but we'll see. Last time you advanced, we got wiped. Here comes Pilot. Let's see what he's thinking of doing. Possibly joining up with the, uh, who's already over here, the 2NC. They don't see us. They don't see us. Can we, can we, can we volley them? They do. No, go, 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 go. Uh, good use of concealment. You saw that NYV was able to get out with a uh, pretty good standard, although 2NC was not as fortunate. Oh, but wait a second. Here comes Joker. He's going to try to advance on the 42nd before they get the reloads. We will see if he can succeed at that. It's the line. On the line. Aim. Take aim. Oh, I see him. I see him. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Well, we got some more fighting going over, over on this side. Let's see if I can make it in time. Looks like the IVB is fighting against two units again. Three units. PB has joined over here. I think this is a good move. More weight over here. And IVB is going to have to pull back as HL Dixon is putting some heavy pressure on them. Oh, you better hop over, buddy. Wow. And in fact, I think they'll be able to wipe them. Yep. And you know what? HL has already taken care of IVB, so 9th Corps is going to get a lot of more tickets over here with this already. And even more, oh, this I don't agree with. Hood is now pulling himself off of that center. That is going to unleash the 19th Indiana, NYV, H, you know, 8th Georgia, if he doesn't hold that center position. And they are going to just flood across this field. But he's got another problem. Again, this already has fallen again, but, you know, how important is the already? Now, you do have the flag did go down. I didn't see when it went down, although the uh, EB has done a good job of heading back to uh, retake it up. It looks like CJH was able to sneak in. Again, once you get into the corn, it's very hard to stop him. And that'll give a decent amount of ticket drain. In fact, Hood is going to try to attack up this hill. But he's going to face a lot of fire going into it. He's going to try to shoot it out for now. Does he have any help? They've retaken that point. EB has. IVB is coming down the road. If Hood can maintain this firing position, which will not be easy, but he's doing it for now. It's going to matter if either EB or IVB need to hurry up and help him. Uh, cancel loads, cancel loads, charge. Cancel loads. Good call by Sevy. He's going to go in and try to, say, to help Hood, who is now getting charged hey, out. A hey, hey, good call by the... Uh, Oh, that might be too late. That was a good call here by the CSA elements here. Knocking out Hood before Savvy can get his men set. And the EB is heading back up. But look who is still here. 
They've not dealt with the danger, and CJH is going to head back in. This is where you need a small force to make sure that you don't lose that position. I'll be honest, uh, I don't believe Elkine is useful here. This is a waste of time. Now here comes 83rd. He's going to try to retake these cannons. Form up! Get the line up! Advance. 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 And Wolf is going to try to push oh, through the attack against 8th Georgia. He's going to take some fire by, I believe, 19th Indiana. Let me see. Yep, that was, uh, that felt like a joke of Ollie. So as they maneuver. Hell yeah, boys, enemy IBB yeah. looks like they went in, but they were taken apart. They were defeated in detail. Now here comes the third charge by EB. And the Union has now hit engaged. 18 minutes remaining. The Union is going to have to get much more aggressive or they will lose this battle and won't be in danger of a wipe. And even more dangerous, there's CJH and he's on the move. He's going to decap it again. A decent attack by the EB, but they have to take these flags out. Good job this way, this way. by the EB. Great job by the EB taking out those flags. Good job by the EB, uh, but again, here's the problem. Velkin, I, I don't know what Velkin's doing. I'm sorry, brother. I don't think you're doing anything over there. 83rd is now pressing up a little bit here. Who are they fighting? I believe this is 19th Indiana, who are staying on the move. They also are taking fire from Knight in the 8th Georgia. <laughs> Come on, Thanks keep the this. fire up. But if I shoot the belt buckle, it might ricochet, First Lieutenant. That man Drop has a point. That shitty mess for two stamped fucking Yankee tin. The guy shoot at their way <laughs> We both say yes, tin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's CJH taking the point down again. Again, you have a unit available to go and deal with this, but they have not been used. And by the way, you got another threat. I bet this is light burn. Oh no, this is the cav. This is the tip of the spear. Um, I don't hate this position actually. You know, it's nice. You know, it's it's decent cover. It's an island, and you can kind of control the battlefield a little bit. So you can kind of harass anybody you want. The only problem is you don't really have an egress route. But eh. So you die, you die. Now here's the union with a good opportunity. Two flags are down. So now, if they press forward, they might go be able to go all the way to A. And once again, Conquest is you've got EB heading in here, which is way too big. And look who's hanging out and waiting to decap it once more. There's your unit that should be dealing with that. Meanwhile, 83rd is doing a great I job of holding off unit. multiple I units here. This. And that might give the IVB... And the 42nd using the same routes that they were done. Oh, don't wish. Well, good shots actually killed all of them. Wow. We're just trying to keep them suppressed. But yeah, just uh, guys in the backs. continue moving forward and take an A. I'd say well, have round ball. Down. It's going to really come down to whether or not 83rd can hold these guys' attention and these units here can get on the move fast enough to move over to the A point and take it. Yankee flag running across. See, I, I don't. Uh, I would have. I would have gone in a little bit. Both these units, I say, are going in a little bit too shallow. I don't know why not. Use the woods. Try to conceal yourself a little bit. Um, don't let them know the routes. But maybe he's worried about time. That could be what he's thinking. Um, Nobody touched the B point. Is that a Union flag? I don't know why. Go pick it up. Silly, silly, silly folks, silly folks. See, this is why I don't. I, I didn't like this angle here too much because Hood has now been kind of stopped here by HL out in the open here. And Ninth Corps has also moved up. And IVB has not moved up. They have assumed a defensive position out here. 
Um, so that, I don't think, 42nd, I don't think we'll be able to take A by itself. Not with 9th Corps and HL over here. Now, if they move up, they might be able to take it, but not as is. There, there they are. are. There they are. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, here comes an attack by 9th Corps. In the back, in the back, shoot in the back. Howard. Come on, get in, get stuck in, stuck in. As 42nd pulls back, they might be able to pull him back into the IVB if they get back fast enough. They're right behind us, ow. They're right behind us. That face, all. That face, some Dixon. Oh, the turn around. I gave one of my face on this one. Now here comes Sevi with his guys. It might be a little bit of a rope it up. We'll see if it's enough. You've got EB now guarding that flag again. I think that's too much. I've already said that several times, so I shall not repeat. Great shots here by the IVB, joined by the 42nd. Get that flag up. Good use of a nice skirmish line here as well. You can see they've done a lot of fire damage to 9th Corps. If they can concentrate fire now on the PB and the HL, they might be able to catch them. But, oh, nope, Legion's going to get his men out of there, and Dixon's going to get his out of there before they could take the advantage. Swing back out to the other side of the battlefield. 83rd still holding off several units of the CSA over here, but that has not changed the equation. Well, they better fucking hurry. Again, imagine if you had a cannon right now looking at that line. Or that line. Or that line. Instead, you got cannons over there. I'm going back out of line. I'm out of here. I think it's going pretty well, actually. You got Ricks and his boys moved up a little bit, drawing a little bit of fire and skirmishers. Looks like 42nd and IVB have reformed in a very nice skirmish line here. They've taken a decent amount of casualties as far as tickets goes, but they are kicking down their casualties as far as the game board goes. So, yes, the game board casualties do uh, translate into the casualties here. So sometimes there's a little bit of a calculus that goes into that. Everybody protect Cappy. Oku's still patiently waiting over there. Hold right here. Hold it's right here. Twentieth is still waiting over there. To be honest with you, if you know they're out here and there's no reason to think they wouldn't be, okay. I like what they're doing here. I like what EB has done here. They have left a small contingent here. Super bunny. It's a boring job, but it'll stop CJH from doing what he likes to do. And they're going to release the rest of their team here under Hazard to go and reinforce. That is a good call there by the EB. Yeah, I think if you add EB to this mix, they might be able to win. Actually, you can see how this line is really starting to push off the CSA. They've had to pull another unit off to aid them. And who is this coming up? So now HL Dixon is getting his men back in line. You've got 9th Corps over here. And who is this, 20th? And you've got PB over here. Already going into the woods, not hitting nothing. IVB now pulling back. As is the 42nd. I think with the additional line in there, I think that's the right call. That's probably a little bit too much. And if they can get under... Oh. Under this deflate a little bit here, I think they'll be able to re-get their numbers a little bit and be in a better position. I still would have think the Woods is a far better, you know, infiltration route, but uh, 
We shall see. Who's this? Uh, NYV? NYV heading over as well. I think if the CSA keeps funneling units over here, I think that's the right decision. I think they're realizing that this is only, you know, the 83rd doesn't only have so much power, they're really not pushing them. Um, you still got Velkine and his guys over there. Now, you do have EB coming up to aid. Letting off a nice little volley. A nice open order. 42nd heading back, along with the IVB. I think they're trying to preserve tickets now. Is that friendly directly in front of me? Battle phase for reload. Cannot okay. call back. Cannot call back. Get your load. Bro, I believe I may have been hit by a stray but. Check. Check when ready. So there's a bit of a dilemma here now for the Union, by the way. So they've got to get the CSA down to engage in the next seven minutes, but they can't go down to taking losses or they lose. So, by the way, those uh, little moves by CGH were essential. And in fact, here's another one. Oh, wait a second. This is crucial. Oh. Cal from the, uh, from the Arty came in. Oh, that was crucial. If the Union didn't hold this position here and they got that flag down, there is nobody to help it, that would have been game over for the Union. That element of EB and this man right here probably just, uh, we don't know if they've won yet or they don't know if they could get the draw, but um, if they can, it's going to be a lot of uh, because of what that guy just did. Again, I like this infiltration route by the CSA a lot more. It's, you know, use the woods here. It looks like IVB has gone back over to their old position. Um, now they're advancing. That's a little dangerous at this point. Uh, let's see what Sevy's thinking here. Maybe he's going to try to sneak up on the HL over here. Or is this Ninth Corps? This is HL. Shoot and fall back. Shoot and fall back. Uh, he got caught out, though, by PB. PB got a nice shot into the IVB. Oh, but now Hood's going in. But the problem is you drew off half your force. You can't, if you're going in, you're going in. If you're not going in, you're not going in. Now they're going in, it's too late. You're already kind of, you know. That was a discombobulated charge there. That was not a good charge. You half went in, then you half didn't go in. They did manage to get the CSA to engage with it, though. So maybe it was okay, but oh, shit. Who's this coming in? Ninth Corps coming in on the high. Oh, he's going to snack into Mattis right here. He's trying to hold him off. Can he do it? You're out of ammo, buddy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, Ninth Corps now has a great spot here, and they are going to rack up the tickets now. Again, you've got all this already here that's just going to... Oh, they're just going to eat tickets. Great little move there by Ninth Corps. Oh, that's going to hurt. EB is heading out on the way again. Let's see. Belkind is still doing some long-distance shooting out here. But the 83rd, are they getting charged out? Kill that officer. Hold, Hold back. Pull back. Hold here. Collapse They're together. Collapse together. Collapse together. I'll be honest, you have no way to pull back, too. Where are you going to pull back? Get Across the, the open field? Kill that flag. Somebody call that. Run. All right, they're pulling back. But not all of them. I don't know. Why, why are you pulling some, but not all? They're all over me. That just means you get out of line tickets. 
Come on, you motherfuckers. Yeah, that's ten tickets. If you retreat, retreat. If you stay to fight, stay to fight. You know, if it's a delaying action, fine. But you're not delaying with four guys. You're just giving them tickets. Hold him, hold him, hold him. And Ninth Corps is now facing a charge by the EB, but I think with all these other actions, that will not be sufficient. They will get them down to taking losses here. IVB now in a decent position up here, but Ninth Corps holding strong. We'll see if Hazard can finish him off. Run, gamer, run! Hold, 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 hold. You gotta kill those flags too, by the way. Oh, here goes Jeff Knight. I don't know. You... So 83rd is reconsolidating back here on the rock, but here comes the next charge coming down. I don't think they'll be able to hold this. They need help. Where is it? This will absolutely probably will knock the Union down to uh, taking losses. Well, again, some are retreating and some are staying and fighting. What is going on? What is the command? Execute the command that this man gave you. Did he tell you to fight or did he tell you to run? That's how this game works, gentlemen and ladies and people of all persuasions. But a great charge here by this combined element here. They saw the weakness. The Union was waiting everything over here. The center's open. On the hill. On the hill. So now the CSA has a great opportunity just to head to C. And who is in the lead? It is Dixon. Is that what C is thinking? I would. You've got a great distracting force over here. These guys can serve as a blocking force. Lightburn in the lead. Tommy right next to him. This is just what you want. Who's over here? It's PB. It's Legion. IVB, Sevy coming to stop them. But, hey, they're getting delayed now. Meanwhile, they, they're already up and over the fence. Here comes Knight. Here comes Pilot. Who's this? 83rd is going to try to join up with EB to hold on to the flag. Melee, boys. EB heading in as well. Oh, but very smart decision by the CSA. They are. Oh, EB's heading actually. I like this move here by Hazard. He's going to kind of swing back into the CSA, so that's a nice little counterattack there. But I really like the way the CSA is now concentrating on tickets, on trying to get them down here in this position, rather than waste time going for the flag, because I think that's a much better option. Um, although they did still send one element to the flag. Who is this? Joker is still going to try to take out the flag, so. I'm kind of fine with it either way because as long as they uh, get them down to taking losses, it doesn't matter. There it is. CSA has now won. Brace, brace. And that'll be it. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home with Bonnie G. Go home. Good work. GG Yanks, go home. Come on, Bear. GG Yanks, go home. Go home. And there goes the point. No, 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 they're behind us for good. Come back. Break up. And so now we'll see next game. I believe the CSA, if the CSA gets two wins, they will wipe out a, the USAB piece. And the CSA has won. Yep, so we will see on the next one if the Union can uh, hold off from losing. I think they need a, I need, I think they need a draw or a, uh, a win. But if the CSA wins again, that piece will be wiped. And that will um, definitely affect the uh, battle along the Mississippi. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. We got one more to go. Casualties were a lot lower than I thought they would be. Doing all that distance shooting, they really didn't do uh, CGI. 699, 683. All right.